you know, when I look at it, Isaiah, it seems like uh, that you build upon your resume, and it's all about production. I'm looking at uh, the production was there, double-digit sacks. You know, people always pay attention to that in 2021 and uh, 2022. And that I want you to comment on that. Uh, you're not a one-trick pony. Uh, that you have experience off the ball, linebacker, stand-up rusher, or, or you're a hand-down defender, and you have the length uh, to win with your long arms. So uh, there's a lot of yep. qualities that go a long way. So uh, that means, obviously, uh, you're versatile. And uh, that, that have the Saints even talked to you about the, how they want to maybe utilize you, or are you just an open book? I'm pretty much an open book. They could put me anywhere. I have some film. Being inside, most of it is off the edge, using a long arm, like you said. But I'm a versatile type of defensive end. Or you put me inside, be a deep tackle. But I can be off the edge, be a linebacker, use the long arm, use my speed, drop into coverage. That's why they drafted me. They they see me as a versatile type of player on the defense. They just want to put me on the field. They know I'm a disruptive type of guy, having multiple sacks, creating negative plays, causing turnover. That's just me. That's how I play. Isaiah, I know that you talked about, first of all, this is Deuce, and I want to tell you congratulations. And I know that you talked about just the time that you spent with the Saints and how, you know, you, you, you have the opportunity to learn just because you felt like that there was an opportunity to play early. But when you go and you're studying an offensive lineman or just an offensive scheme, what are some of the things that you're trying to pick up, Not you know, from a particular player, whether it's a guard and or a tackle? Uh, with the guards and or tackle, I try to see the first thing is just where their hand placement are. And if if they're like a high uh, puncher or low puncher, so I'm more of a technician trying to punch you in your chest or a grabber, I try to see that first off, try to, so I can work my passers moves and with the run blocking too, if they're a grabber, if they're like the twerk or just hold on to you for dear life, do they know? That's what a lot of them do uh, against me. But that's like the first thing I look at. And then I look at if they're more of a, a pass rush type of guard or tackle or pass setter or a run blocker. If they're more like a technician or if they really just try to put you in the dirt, if they have like that aggression, like being for themselves. Um, but that's pretty much what I look at. And another thing is like, I feel like a lot of people don't look at is who, who gets off the ball the fastest, either the center snapping the ball or the tackles. I know the tackles jump the ball sometimes. I'll try to find out who gets off the ball faster consistently is the center or is it the guard, or if it's a the tackle, key off of them so I can get to jump off the ball as fast as possible. You know, uh, Isaiah, what I was intrigued with, because uh, showing you're not a, a one-trick pony, uh, you've been described as kind of a jack-of-all-trades. Uh, I know uh, but, but we have that in a quarterback uh, that uh, you know from BYU, uh, Taysom Hill, that could do a lot of different things. And they said, yeah, he's kind of like a jack-of-all-trades. And this caught my attention also because – you know, you want to get after the opposing quarterback, but uh, I was reading where you're capable of dropping into coverage and you're an accurate and strong tackler. In other words, when you're tackling the guy, you make the tackle and you're not whiffing. Uh, that, that, yeah. that goes a long way as far as coaches. It's like, okay, you're in position to make the tackle. Do you finish the deal? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's, that's me. I'm pretty much a sure tackler. I try to – I've just been taught to, like, stay square – I've been taught by a lot of coaches how to tackle. It just pretty much went through from high school to college, and it, it just showed out on film that I'm in the open space. I make the tackle. Coming down the line, I'm making that tackle. Every time I get the, get my hands on a running back, a quarterback, or anybody that has the ball, I'm sure – I'm for sure tackling to get it down. So I negative see- yards or stop at that spot. No, no dragging for extra yak. Isaiah, congratulations uh, coming here to New Orleans. Uh, what have you worked on the most in the offseason and watching tape on you? Man, your ability to get off the snap, you know, how you can use your arms and hands are, are really, really good for a college player. It, it, are you trying to build up maybe a little bit more from a power standpoint? And what did you work on the most in the offseason? Yeah, in the offseason, this is like a, consistently what I work on is to get off. That's why my get off is so – it's so great. I feel like that's the starting point of every pass rush, every run block, or every run defense is, a, is your get off, is eliminating the false seven. That's something I consistently work on on the off season, but also on the off season, I work on pass rush moves and try to figure out what I'm comfortable with, what's my go to move that I know I can fall back on this move. It will just work against any tackle. That's why I really want to find out. And what I found out was the long arm 
and the stab club. That's what I call it, stab club and a long arm. But those are the two passes move I know. I can, I go to, I'm going to win regardless. If I can fall back on those, if I know the move is not working. But no, one, no, no, one no. thing you can't teach is instincts. And your ability to track the ball, if it's yeah. the quarterback or the running back, you got really good instincts to the ball. Now, a lot of people sort of lose sight of the football sometimes, but I, I put that that is a real strength for you, your ability to find the football. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, that that's me. Like I said before, like sacks sacks aren't good enough right now. Like you got to get the ball out. I'm a disruptive type of guy when you put me on the field. I try to get I try to get that sack. I try to get the ball out because I want to get the ball for the defense. Just even score a touchdown, celebrate it. So I know you can do that now in the NFL, or just get the ball back for the offense. Now uh, Isaiah, I thought this was interesting too because, like I said, uh, not a one trick pony. Uh, that because of your length. And also maybe your discipline uh, that uh, to clog the passing lanes and understand even uh, when you're in zone concept as far as a zone dropper and understanding your responsibility. Yeah, I'm a the way I the way I learn. I try to learn like other like in the coverage is the uh, people around me. That's what I try to find out when I mean, they cover two or cover three or man. I try to figure out so I know where I have to be at where. I know everyone else is that, so I can pretty much be in the right spot whenever it happens. I, I can just show off my lateral quickness and just my length, my arm length, just to deflect the ball whenever I need to. I can cover a lot of space when I have my feet settled. And I showed it a lot during film. I can keep up with running backs, doing real, doing, doing the wheel routes. I, ha- I can showcase the speed, my lateral quickness and everything. But I just me and cover, that's what I can do. Now, uh, Isaiah, uh, boy, you coming to the Saints, the Who That Nation – uh, you know, Notre yep. Dame, uh, football's a priority. Uh, you know, it's a priority in the Midwest, but in the Deep South, I mean, how we love them LSU Tigers, how we love the New Orleans Saints, but then all of a sudden you could be right there and maybe one of your, uh, you know, and hang out with them, your former coach, uh, uh, you know. Ryan uh, Kelly. Uh, Ryan Kelly was now at LSU. Okay. So <laughs> as he got a hold of you and tell you maybe congratulations yet they're coming to the Saints because you're only about 60 miles away now. <laughs> I know, I know. But uh, he, he might have. I don't know. I haven't looked at my uh, text messages and phone calls. I need to make a lot of it right now. But it would have surprised me if I, see, if I see one missed call or one text message that I didn't get to right now from him. He's Isaiah, a great guy. I love you, Kay. Isaiah, um, I know you visited Notre Dame a few times, but did he give you some pointers? Ed Ogeron. Uh, Bobby and I grew up on the Bayou, and I know Coach O spent some time with the Notre Dame uh, football team. And uh, if he maybe gave you a pointer or two, Oh, uh, yeah, during that time he was he was watching us practice. You know, he's a he's a D line type of coach. So he was all up in pretty much everyone's face, like <laughs> like he was running the D line. <laughs> That's him. So I like I like Coach uh, Ogeron. Uh, he's a great guy. But during that time, he's just critiquing me on some of my past his moves, seeing what I can do better. Better. And hitting the pad a little bit stronger if you wanted me to see see I can hit it stronger. But just a short time I spent with him, he just seemed like a great guy, a great coach. We'll let you go here in just a sec. Just wanted to ask, um, from California, I uh, went to De La Salle High School in California. Uh, have you been yeah. to New Orleans, spent any time here uh, in, uh, here in the Big Easy? No, I haven't, but I know there's some good food there, so I know I'm eating good. <laughs> that's all I know about. That's all I know. Well, that's that's it's a good start. Yeah, 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 absolutely. That's right. Food. You will enjoy so You guys it. need to show me some spots. <laughs> <laughs> it don't matter. It can be a gas station. <laughs> In some places, uh, <laughs> small little hangouts, uh, the best. So congratulations. Uh, it's been a heck of a day for you. I know even after the pick, you had some some family obligations to take care of, and you're going to love it down here. Yeah. The Saints, gonna, you're going to love the Houdat Nation as well. Who that man? Who that nation? Okay, okay. I say you got to give us. That's a weak who that. You got to give us a strong who that. Okay, we gotta let you go. We gotta go like who that. Got to cover within. Come on, you got to bring. Give me a strong who that, right, Isaiah. Got who that? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh yeah! He sounds just like you, Bob. Oh no, yeah, he's gonna I bring like it. That. I'm, I'm like, done. Hey. I'm gonna say that. Uh, Isaiah, I'm counting on you uh, to represent. And I said, I think from the get go, he's gonna look like the number one pick and put us. He'll be in the Pro Bowl. He, he'll be putting those skins on the wall for the Who That Nation.